Oh, thank God. Anyway, uh, welcome guys to episode 5 of Making a Range Tank. Uh, I've been away for a few days, as I let you guys know. Uh, I was at a friend's place. Uh, we were playing some RS, although I was playing on another account. Uh, I'm probably going to just make it a pure. I might make a little, another like little progress series of like making a pure. But currently, it's, it's really low stats. I'm probably going to feed it stuff from this account. You know, like, I got an extra rune sim, so might as well give it there, uh, etc. Uh, the levels on it currently are really bad, so, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother showing that. It, it was started two days ago. There are nearly no quests done, and, yeah, mostly I've just been maging, and I was getting prayer up, etc. So, yeah, for the range tank, uh, I'm currently training attack, I'm 58 attack, gonna hit 60 today. And then I'm going to need some gold for dragon weapons, but anyway. Um, I've been thinking that I should probably start, like, going towards Fremenic Trials, because I've got all the quest requirements for Fremenic... Uh, I mean, God, I mean Lunar Diplomacy, because... Yeah. So, I have all the quest requirements added away. For skills, uh, I still need 65 mage. 60 mining and 61 crafting and the fire making fire making will be really easy i'm gonna get that out of the way probably next while training to 60 wood cutting uh i was thinking about doing mining and crafting now for crafting i'm really not sure what the best way to do do it is because honestly the fastest exp if i'm not mistaken is cutting diamonds but that's like insanely profit insanely it loses insanely costly. There we go. It loses a lot of money. Um, 65 mage will be another big thing. I'm gonna just look up a fucking 99 1 to 99 mage guide and try and do something around those lines. Uh, I want to get the 60 attack because uh, it's just gonna be handy for training if I have a D skim and I'll finally be able to have a fucking spec weapon other than a fucking magic short bow. Let me pick up more rock clarabs real quick and. Yeah, uh, I'm also gonna probably buy a Fremenic Helm, like an Archer Helm or something. I also managed to lo lose my Magic Short Bow to PKers, so I, I have really a lot to do. But at the moment, I really want to focus on the Lunar Diplomacy uh, skill requirements. Uh, I'm gonna look up what is boostable, what is not boostable. I really... Uh, the crafting will be the main pain, because it's a lot. That's like, yeah, 325 XP, basically. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be a pain. When I'm done with attack today, it's actually really late. I was out the entire day. Just god damn it. And while I'm done with that, with that attack, I'm gonna go probably mine. Might even go woodcut. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up buying and doing willow logs till 49 fire making because willow logs are insanely cheap. I can buy 10k logs, I think, for like... 16k i don't know it's insanely cheap so i'm definitely going to be doing those um other than that lunar diplomacy is actually a really easy quest there's nothing that i can really die to so yeah other than those fucking agility shortcuts in the uh, in the dream challenge uh so yeah other than that the boss fight is easy and everything so yeah but it's so, when I actually, I have no idea where my little notepad is, uh, I have the goals written there, so yeah, I should go check those, and I'm gonna read them out in a sec. I have the notepad with me now, and I will check the goals, we're still on the goals for days 7 through 11, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 8 through 11. <sighs> the big goals still remain, 70 defense, 70 range, and fairy tale. Those are the biggest, like, requirements there, then. Other than that, I should be doing construction, but I'm gonna be using logs in a different way. That is, for fire making for lunar diplomacy. 70 defense, 70 range is something I wanted to hit, and I probably will not be hitting. I'm gonna do that later, like, alongside everything else. Attack and strength are gonna be hugely beneficial when training defense, um... Other than that, uh, Creature Frankenstein and Ghosts Ahoy are two other things that I should do. They're, they're scheduled for later, but I might consider doing them. Uh, other than that, fuck. Um, if you actually check the magic spellbook. 
uh, Slayer Dart is at level 50 magic, and it's a really interesting spell because it costs Chaos Runes and Mind Runes, which are the runes that drop in Barrows, and I was thinking about doing Slayer and unlocking Slayer Dart, uh, so I can do some Barrows, because, yeah, Barrows armor is pretty fucking cool. Uh, other than that, there really isn't much to do on this account anymore, there's just, there's just the maximum of the, sta of the stats, I want to get 52 Prayer, I want to get 99 range and defense, then 70 attack, 70 strength, and we're maxed, basically. HP will just come along the way. 57 HP at the moment. Pretty okay. Uh, I should probably start actually doing woodcutting, because woodcutting might actually be quite a nice source of money. Let me quickly check on Zybaz how much the logs are all worth, because I definitely would like to do that. So, do logs... U logs are 500 GP each, etc. They're like 450 to 490, so yeah. It's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna ding an attack level because I'm rambling forever, so yeah, let's let's hit this attack level. It's half a rock crap to a level. So yeah, go, go. Come on, ding me. I swear I should ding. Okay, one more hit. Watch a Joker one. Okay, 59 attack. Awesome, 25k XP off, 60 attack. I don't actually have enough money in the bank to buy D-Skim or anything, so yeah. Plus, I lost my amulet of Ma Monkey Speak, so let me actually really qu quickly check how much a Dragon Simi is worth on Zybez. 100k. 85k. 90k. Yeah, someone's actually going to be merching these, like buying them off of Apatol and and selling them for a higher price. So yeah, guys, I'm going to be finishing on 60 attack, and then I'm going to go ahead and do Haunted Mine. It should bring me up to 52 strength. Might get that to 60 some other time. Right now, I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sick of rock crabs, to be honest. 70 range is going to be something I'm definitely going to try and do, but I don't want to... You know, be unreal, so I'll probably just work towards Lurin Diplomacy Prerequisites. I'm gonna go look up some guides now, and yeah. Okay guys, quick interjection, I just got 58 HP, 17k off of 50, off of 60 actually attack. Okay guys, evening comes, and I am 39 EXP off, the 70 XP off, and boom, 60 attack. There we go, I'm out of this place. Goodbye rock crabs. Goodbye. God damn this place. I'm not gonna return here for a long time. Next time I'm training something, it's on freaking experiments because I swear I'm bored of this place. I've trained ranged here, I've trained strength here, I've trained defense here, I've trained attack here. I've been here for like maybe 20 to 30 hours in total, so oh my god, I'm so sick of that place. Anyway, next up, I think I'm gonna do fire making. I'll just go grab myself an axe and stuff. Yeah, I was also thinking about doing runecrafting uh, for 40 runecrafting for nature runes. Uh, no, I mean uh, astral runes. Let me just quickly cut, cut these with a chisel and grab an axe. Chisel, 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 chisel. There we go. Crafting XP, not much. Cutting gems is actually one of the fastest ways uh, to do crafting, which is kind of surprising, isn't it? Uh, I still have these gold bars that I can turn with these into dueling rings and games next and sell pretty profitably, most probably. I got 150 nature runes, and I got a fire staff. I'm going to be doing super heats until... where's my ores? Yeah, I only got 6 iron and 59 coal. Uh, I'm going to be doing super heats till level 55 mage. If I'm not mistaken, this will take 2,195 super heats. Which is a damn lot, which means 295, 2195 iron ore and 4.3k 4 coal, if I'm not mistaken, which is a hell of a lot of coal. And yeah, I'm overall I'm gonna be making profit. Buying nature, buying everything, I'm still gonna be making profit, which is good. I don't have a lot of cash, I really need to get more cash. So yeah, I'm looking for a thin tinderbox, frantically looking for a tinderbox. Let me just use the search function I do not actually have a tinderbox how sounding you just grab not 18k you don't buy a tinderbox for 18k 
You know, talking about Tinderbox prices, I remember in RuneScape 3, uh, Tinderboxes under GE are actually worth something around 300 GP. So what you would do is you would run around stores, uh, general stores in RuneScape, and buy out Tinderboxes. And just sell them under GE for like 30 times your cash, which is like, lols, I just scammed you. Emerald ring from Bird's Nest. Is this some sort of new random event? I've never had, never ever had this random event. And uh, that's my escape again, but I really, I, what? Like... Um, okay, wait, so, what, I don't get it, I honestly don't get it, um, so ring, bowl, and coins like this. Oh, for God's sake. I have no clue where I am. Well. I guess that's a free arty telly. Check it out, here's a genie. I'm gonna swag away his lamp. YOLO Herblor. Did I just... Did I just... Okay, good. It's an Herblor EXP. So, anyway. Uh, this is the end of today. Uh, for tomorrow, I have pl the plans of getting 60 strength. Hopefully gonna finish on 49 fire making. That'll be another lunar diplomacy prereq out of the way. Ugh, crafting will be a pain in the butt. I have some gems ready for games next and jewel rings. So that'll be a little bit of EXP there. I'm slowly working towards 60 wood cutting by doing my fire making. Another one of the requirements, if I'm not mistaken, is 65 mage. Uh, I don't have a lot of cash, but I will be making cash by superheating. Plus, I have 150 law uh, natures in my bank, so it means I'm going to have to buy less natures, thus equaling in more profit. So I'm probably just going to be doing superheats now for some money because I I just I don't like green dragons anymore. I get, keep getting PK'd there. Okay, guys, how's it going? It's Zach, and welcome to day 10 of making a range tank. This is episode 5, continued... Because I decided to put the two, two days together, uh, I'm not sure if it's recording right now. I actually have put my second account into you. Okay, uh, I'm really fed up with fraps at this moment because for some odd reasons, it's cutting out in the middle of my clips. Like right now, I'm going to finish a clip, okay? I'm going to be doing this often now because it looks like fraps hates me. So what I was saying in the clip is I'm putting my second account to use as I've will probably have shown in another clip, but I'm basically putting it to use by making it mine for me, or basically mining on two accounts at once. Because for my superheats, as I already mentioned, I will need 2,195 uh, iron ores. And uh, what the math actually says is that my mining for Lunar Diplomacy 36 to 60 will give me exactly uh, double that amount in coal, well, a bit more. So I'm going to have 60 mining, and uh, with 60 mining, I'm going to mine all the coal that I'm going to need for my superheats to 55 magic. And with my other account, I'm going to mine all the iron I'm going to need for the superheats. Thus, only buying nature runes, which means huge profit. I think I'm going to be profiting 400 to 500 GP per, uh, iron, per steel bar. In total, it should give uh, the entire the steel bar should give, I think it's like worth 600-ish, I'm not sure though. So let me actually really quickly open the calculator and do that math. Yeah, it's around 1.3 mil total profit. I don't know if I just can't count, but yeah, that's 1.3 mil from superheating. So yes, that'll be hugely profitable. Of course, the nature runes will still cost something. I have some nature runes in my bank, but that's only like 200 nature runes, which is kind of sad. What is this guy even doing? Anyway, uh, of course, <laughs> I was supposed to be doing some higher activities. Uh, I decided to ditch most of the activities for Lunar Diplomacy Prerequisites. I might still be doing Fairy Tale Part 1 because that quest is 
cool to do, and part two is also amazing. And I really would benefit from this from the uh, from the fucking fairy rings. But anyway, I'm working towards most of the goals that I was supposed to do. 70 defense, 70 range is the main thing that I'm not completing. Other than that, another thing is thieving. Should get that up. One XP lamp off of 19 Herblore. I'm I should also do Herblore because Herblore is so good. It's just so good to do. Hunter is also a thing I wanted to do. Fletching is definitely up there. Woodcutting, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I need to do. But currently I'm working on fire making. Uh, I'm only nine levels away now. That's oh I don't have a 49 level 49 skill, but it's around 100k XP. So yeah, I'm around 70k XP off, 60k more like. But yeah. This is horrendously slow, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, I've just finished a random event. I think this thing gives EXP. There we go. Yeah, it does. 19 herb lore. Perfect. Oh, I didn't even realize I had 57 woodcut and I'm just here clicking through it. And I can now actually make the Waka Kanui, which is the Kanui to the wilderness, for people who don't know, which is, yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna hit 43 fire making now in this inventory. Uh, at 50, 50, no, wait, what? At 45 fire making, I'm gonna go and do maples because they will also give me quite a lot of woodcutting XP, which will be really cool because when I hit 60 woodcutting, I'm gonna definitely go ahead and do use, which will be quite a lot of money for me. But anyway, uh, my other account now has 15 woodcutting, so I can go ahead and mine myself iron. Skill calculator says that from 15 mining. 2,195 iron ore will result in level 47 and a half, so that's really cool anyway. So I'll be back later. Okay guys, I'm nearing on level 49 fire making. I'm one out of four inventories there from where I'm now. That means three more inventories and I'm done with fire making. My other account is already at 28 mining from mining iron ores. I have like 280, I think, iron ore in the bank. Which is a ridiculous amount of uh, of iron ore. Uh, I still have around 1.9k iron ore to go. Uh, I'm also going to go mining on this account after I'm done with this. I'm not sure if I should go craft or if I should go mine. I think I'll go craft first and then mine. Because I'm going to need uh, double the coal that I need iron ore. And that means I'm going to need double the time to get the coal. So I'm not sure if I should go mining or if I should go crafting first, because it's still going to take fucking forever, and I still need a magic requirement for Lunar Diplomacy, and I'm planning to superheat from 43 to 55, which will give me a 1.3 million profit if I get everything except the Lorraine's from scratch. If I don't get the coal from scratch, I'm going to get 1.1 million profit, if I'm not mistaken, and if I don't get the iron from scratch, I'm going to get 1.2 mil, I think, so... I might end up, like, uh, getting uh, half the coal and getting all the iron or something. But currently, uh, what the RS calculators are saying is that 36 to 60 mining while mining coal will be uh, around the amount of coal that I will need to superheat uh, just a bit more. And I'm doing iron ore on my other account right now, so... Uh, doing coal will actually be beneficial. People say to power mine coal, so I'm not going to be power mining coal. I'm going to be banking it, and that's going to be the main thing that's slowing me. Uh, I still have to find a good place to mine this coal. What I'm currently thinking about is going into the wilderness, because they're in the, there's I'm not exactly sure if it's next to the skeletons or the hobgoblins, but somewhere in the wilderness there's a mine which has 31 coal rocks in it, and I can use my looting bag, which means I don't get 50... I think I get 55 items per per run, per trip, which will be really cool. Uh, so that'll speed up the coal collection process, but I'm not sure if it'll increase my EXP. It'll definitely still be an XP waste as to just dropping it in power mining. But I need 4,300 coal, if I'm not mistaken, which is quite a fucking lot. Also, I might have messed up my math because I'm really bad at numbers. I'm really bad at remembering numbers. So um, I really don't know if I should collect 2,195 uh, iron ore and double that in coal 
or if I should be collecting 2,915. It is not 3 p.m. The sun is lying. It is 5 p.m. Nearly 6. So yeah. That's... Uh, that's pretty fucked up. Uh, will I get the level? Yes, I will. Boom! 49 fire making. Bullseye lanterns? Well, that's cool. That's cool. I'm out of here. I'm so out of here. I hate maple trees. I must say, I really do. You know what? I'm not even gonna look for more clips. This is gonna be some sort of extended episode or something. I'm such a blabbermouth. Like, wow. I can't even. I mean, uh, day nine was like seven minutes of footage, and now I'm at like 13 minutes of footage just from today. And today I've literally not been doing anything. I've literally been mining iron and coal and burning trees. What have I been talking about all the time? Anyway, uh, if you wanted to enjoy the video, a like would be much appreciated. Thank you for watching the video, and until next time, okay.